Hey folks, and welcome to Greg's Golf Shack. I'm about to make some club assembly videos, and I'm gonna start with how to extract a shaft from a club head. Now, that might be for reasons you just want to change out the shaft. Maybe your shaft broke, like this one, which this is nice because it gives me lots of shaft to be able to extract. It's a little more difficult if the shaft breaks right down at the club head, and you might need to drill it out. Maybe you could try some of the processes I'm gonna cover and get it out with needle nose pliers or something, but let's go over the general process of how this can be done. I'm going to demonstrate two methods you can do this at home using, you know, like a propane torch or using a heat gun. I'm also going to show the process of removing a steel shaft as opposed to a graphite shaft, which you need to be a little bit more careful. So we'll go ahead with this steel shaft. I'm going to use my trusty golf club vice clamp here and tighten it up in my vice. Give myself a little room to be able to heat it up. And in this case, this ferrule here, this plastic kind of aesthetic aerodynamic piece is likely gonna melt and kind of fall on the floor. So give yourself something on the floor to be able to catch those drippings. You're also gonna be handling a hot golf head. So good to have a set of gloves. Welding gloves work well. Mine are a little grungy for a video, so I'm just gonna use these. I'm going to fire up this torch. And the hottest point is really the tip of that inner blue flame. And what I want to do is just heat up the hosel of this golf club. And it's going to take a couple of minutes to heat it up. I want to make sure I'm going kind of uniformly around here. The shaft only goes in an inch, an inch and a half, so you don't need to go too much further than that. I'm just holding that bright blue inner flame at the distance of the hosel there. Now, as I said, this might take a minute, so I might advance the video until it's ready to release. Now, I can see that ferrule is starting to melt, and I can also hear a little bit of popping and crackling from within the shaft, and that can be the epoxy kind of loosening up. All right, I've been heating that up for a couple of minutes. You're gonna to wanna to be well ventilated when that ferrule starts melting. Now, with a steel shaft, you can kind of twist this thing, loosen it up, and just slide it off. I can feel that club head is hot, and off it comes. You're gonna to wanna to try and clean out the inside of that a little bit. I like to use just like a wood screw or something because it kind of has those sharp edges and kind of pull some of that junk out. You can see I have little pieces of epoxy falling out. If you wanna clean it a little bit further, you can take you know a little wire brush, you know, attach it to a drill if you want, try and stick it in there, give it some turns, try and clean it out. You can see I have pieces of epoxy coming out. Once it's a little bit cooled down, the epoxy dried a little bit more, you might want to roll up some rough sandpaper and stick it in there and kind of rotate it around and clean the rest of that out. And now that's a club head that's ready to be assembled onto a new shaft. Now in this case, this is a club head I want to install onto a different shaft and I want to reuse this shaft on another club head I have. So I want to save everything. Now it's unlikely that you're going to be able to save a ferrule during this process. They get a little warped and damaged, but they're very cheap to replace. So I'm going to use my golf club clamp here and tighten it up in my vise. Just like my regripping video, don't tighten it up too much because you don't want to crack the shaft. But you also are going to be pulling this club head off. So it needs to be tight enough to hold it in place. Now in this scenario, I'm going to use heat gun. This was around 50 bucks or so Canadian tire. And I'm going to do the same process. It can take a little bit longer than the torch, but I like the heat gun because there's less chance of it kind of burning your club hosel make it a little bit black. Now I need to be more careful with the graphite shaft because once it's hot enough to remove, you don't want to twist it or bend it. It needs to come off very straight or else the fibers of the graphite shaft can twist and break. So it's a little bit more delicate during this process. Now there are some professional tools you can get for shaft extracting, which is really a vise on each end that pulls it apart but those are pretty expensive and for us do-it-yourselfers, not really practical. So assume there's gonna be an element of risk if you're doing this at home that you might damage the shaft. All right, I'm gonna fire this up, see if we can get it hot enough. In the same routine, I'm just gonna heat this all the way around. It might take a little longer than the torch. 
So again, I'll likely advance the video till it's ready to come off. It's gonna take a few minutes. All right, I've been heating that up for oh, eight minutes or so, and I don't think it's gonna free. Oh, it's starting to pull off on its own, but I can help it with a little rubber hammer just to bring it straight off. I don't wanna turn it. And once it starts coming off, just pull it straight off. Don't bend and don't twist. And there we go. You can see the, the plastic is melting, the epoxy is melting. Make sure you got an open window. I'm gonna do the same thing. Try and pull out any chunks that might be in there with my screw. Put my little wire brush in there. And then I'll put my sandpaper in there and give it a little twist. Try and clean out any of that remaining junk. That head's ready to go. Now this ferrule, I'm gonna see if I can take it off by hand. If it's not coming off, I'm gonna use my knife to start. I wanna make sure I'm not cutting into the shaft. I'm just sort of cutting through the plastic ferrule. And then I can peel the rest of it off. That's garbage. And I can take my sandpaper. I don't wanna take off a whole lot of the shaft, but I just wanna kinda of clean off any little chunks that might be on there so it can fit into another club. So that's how you can remove a club head from a shaft at home. I hope you found that tip helpful. If you like this content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Greg's Golf Shack.